what up my fellow dorks the turtle dork here with a new trailer reaction for you so this weekend the defenders drops and with the defenders dropping their next netflix show which is the punisher um is releasing its first teaser trailer um i've been on board with what netflix is doing even though looking back i do have some analysis and criticisms about some of the previous shows um, more so the second halves of these seasons of the end of the individual characters but it still hasn't really wavered my excitement for what Netflix is doing and the risk and the, and the, and the, the chances that they're taking uh, with this corner of the MCU and so I've been on board with it um, even though I haven't watched Iron Fist because of what everybody has said about it so I'm kind of using the Defenders as my introduction to Iron Fist and uh, I'm gonna do my review for the first half of that coming up but for the Punisher uh, his introduction into season two of Daredevil was I mean he came in literally guns blazing and uh, John Bernthal is like one of my favorite actors working right now. I mean, he is just absolutely phenomenal in everything that he, everything that he does. I just, I love seeing him pop up on screen, whether it's the big screen or the small screen, um, in bit roles, uh, whatever the case may be. I just, I, that dude just, it's just something about that dude, man. That I just, I, I love seeing his presence on the screen. So with him being cast as Frank Castle, Daredevil, and then getting uh, it being announced that he was getting his own show, um, so you could kind of explore that a little bit more. And we saw some footage at Comic Con uh, when I was in the Hall H during the uh, the Defenders panel. Um, they show like <clears throat> a couple of little vignette scenes uh, with the Punisher, and it looks like it's really, really going to be good. And it's it's going to be character driven uh, you're going to learn a lot more about frank castle and what motivates him what drives him the love he had for his family for his daughter and, um, and how that pushes him forward to kind of be this this menacing vigilante and i like what they said also about the tv show is the fact that it's not it's not going to be clear cut that he is a good guy you're not going to always root for him it's going to as an audience member, you're going to be conflicted with a lot of the, uh, the decisions that he's going to end up making in this show. And I like that we're going to have a great area for this character as well because I think that's actually where Frank Castle lives. He lives in that great area. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited for this show. Um, I'm enjoying the Defenders so far. And yeah, like I said, I just, Netflix Marvel, man, like for me, <coughs> they're, they're doing their thing. They, they really are. So. With that being said, let's check out this trailer for The Punisher. It's not that long, it's only about a minute long, so actually my rambling is probably longer than this trailer. <laughs> Again, more of like a, an announcement trailer. Uh, we know what's coming. We know that it's coming. I guess it's really just letting us know, um, you know, that the Punisher is coming. So watch out, <laughs> lock your doors. Um, but it also gives you little snippets <clears throat> of his past, um, his life, his military life, probably how that has affected him psychologically. Um, of course, we, we hear this a lot with soldiers and PTSD, and and you take that coupled with the fact that he lost his family, lost his daughter, 
and you kind of understand the headspace that Frank Castle is in coming back home and, and, and dealing with the corruption that's going on in New York and, and wanting to bring his brand of justice. So um, yeah, I like how we get a little bit of those snippets uh, from his past. And uh, and what he's saying in correlation with some of the uh, with some of the uh, cutaways that we see um, in that trailer. Again, just a minute, but it's extremely effective. Uh, the way he's taking that sledgehammer and just beating the concrete, and then you see the uh, the emblem, the Punisher emblem, uh, engraved in that concrete. Um, just it's just innovative ways of really just. Uh, uh, announcing this show and announcing this character to the audience uh, it's just I, I'm just so looking forward to this man like I said I mean to get 13 episodes of John Bronto as Frank Castle the Punisher man sign me up I'm ready dog like seriously I'm ready <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So those are my initial thoughts for uh, this little small trailer for The Punisher. Um, let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks at Mouth Dork, at The Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am The Turtle Dork. And with that, your boy is out. <laughs>